One one for Blacklist for sure. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the adaptations. We're seeing things change, and at the very least, that's what we expect to see in a best of seven draft, right? Number one, Yue. So <laughs> many fans what? that the letters couldn't be contained within its own lower third. Oh my god. <laughs> Yue was awarded Rookie of the Season in MPL PH Season 11 with his debut on the Blackers roster. Now he is 2-2 two two in the Grand Finals appearance in the official MLBB, MLBB tournament. Shout out to the production team, man. Shout out to the production, yeah, shout out to the production team. Ooh. How do you stop this 1-1 one -one now? Do you go maybe Fairmaze? Oh, Kaja is not, it's banned out. So do you snatch the Frederick now if you're Onik? Thoughts? Phobius, uh, set up for Phobius later on into the game. That could I'm, be. I'm just, I'm just putting the idea there. It could doesn't necessarily need to be picked up super early on because then it could be the bounce back, right? The retaliation yep. from Blacklist and Smash becomes down, very mean? straightforward. Oh, love this. Yeah. Valentina from Onik. It means that they will not let Yue cook this time, but I guess you still want to pick up the Eve now, as well as perhaps the Fairmiss for Blacklist International. So I'm thinking Novaria. No. Oh, Novaria no. Baksha? Oh, there you go. Novaria Baksha. Oh, oh no. no. Not the wheels on Wise. <laughs> the drive by's coming. You know it. He's going to do it again. He's going to do it again. Oh, oh Vanny, Vanny, the Vanny. Vanny. What? The flyby. Wow. Nani? I get okay. the drive by. You go drive by, I'll do you one better. I'll fly by. <laughs> Nani is the Vanny. <laughs> That's five, 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 five out of ten. Four. 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 Nani, <laughs> Nani is the Vanny. Boys. No, you boy. had to repeat it, so <laughs> that's a four. <laughs> oh, it's, oh, damn. I should have <laughs> stayed quiet then. <laughs> you got a good point yeah. there. Oh. But we got to pull this back because, again, the Jeez, only real difference is the fact that Eternal was like, yes, Blacklist is going to take this away. And now we're seeing a very different dynamic in the draft. We were expecting something different, but not this, not this direction. Yeah. I want to make sure that utilizing the Baksha means that you have good early game. And we saw that in their series against Farflex Impunity, they have a certain rotation where they will forego the first turtle, but they will take all of the, of, of the jungle creeps. It will be much faster, when it comes to taking those jungles, more EXP, more gold. Come Turtle 2, you're a level ahead of your jungle competition. So it's a it's a set play coming up from Blacklist. Okay, now I gotta ask the question, right? Usually going up against the Fanny, you need a lot of peel because I'm no one one, I'm no no warrior, but if I'm if I'm in their situation, I'm feeling very paranoid. I'm feeling like a titan right now. I'm gonna put my hand uh, you know around my neck. But again, oh my Venus is the type of player that likes to heal. In this kind of game, the Minotaur has been banned, the Arlet has been banned. What kind of protection can they have? Because you can't just rely solely on the box here. Yeah. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like you're either hinting at one of two heroes, either a failure to give that movement speed and that form of peel with that healing that we all like, or the Florin, which we haven't seen at all throughout the tournament. Both of which will be debut picks mm -hmm. if they get locked down here. Yep. However, in terms of bans, I'm thinking Blacklist is getting rid of that show. Thoughts? Yep. Mm, think so, I yeah. don't really think so, honestly. In my opinion, the 1-1 one is already very self-sustainable. No Dexter, show necessary for the band. They go for the quad right here. Mm. That's an interesting one, right? Going for the quad ban. No, just... honestly, too too many people to, to take care of, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, one's so. flying, one's playing with the monkey. It's kind of not fun to play against. Yeah. So you go Leslie, perhaps. But that might be oh, too slow Leslie, for example. You're right, actually. They have the last pick, so they can just utilize this for now, right? They can go for a roamer first. And Lolita is a solid choice, something that I was thinking of against the 1-1. One -one. What can you counter? What, what can counter the 1-1? One -one? Mm -hmm. The only roamer that I can think of right now is the Lolita, that yep. bulwark. They okay. blocked all the projectiles, especially with the crossbow. It hangs up, could protect, you know, especially if you have to sacrifice somebody, at least you don't have to sacrifice every single person in those situations. Now, yeah. pulling it back to Blacklist International, they have to complete their comp, and they still are missing a few puzzle, yeah. uh, pieces of the puzzle. XP lane, as well as potentially Rome or mid lane. Mid lane. Uh, you're looking for a little bit of lockdown as well as sustain. I wouldn't mind something like an Esmeralda, actually, but, you know, you would play Kagura before, and I think that in a in a game where there's a there's an assassin, maybe some something of something of burst potential will be good. Like a, yeah, like a Kagura, for example. Agent Zero. Zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. Agent Zero. And a Kagura called by Ulf. Mm -hmm. Again, here's the thing. My worry still stands. Harith. We see how Fanny plays. I'm not feeling too good for Blacklist. Okay. They gotta play out of their minds here. Recalling Gilak Sands. Oh my god. 
This man has wow. broken a new record with a th 3,211 oh, recalls in his no way. career. I don't know how they got that oh. number, but Tans is over to you. Four oh, alter oh, eagle, Leo Murphy. Murphy. The Tas Tas God has been overtaken. Oh, this, wow. This is, should not be allowed. Leo Murphy needs to bounce Shout back. Shout out to Leo Murphy. Leo Murphy, you kind of got to come back, man. Is, is this potentially a high risk last pick for Onyx? Dude, at this point, I kind of don't care. Look at the recalls, man. It's Matrix. Matrix. Yeah. The Standard, pretty standard overall. I'm just, I'm still shocked. I agree with LaFell. I'm already still shocked about the recall stats. Where do they have that in the API? Yeah. I don't know where they, they found the, da the data. At this point, <laughs> I don't even care if it's factually correct. Yep, it's fun. As long as you enjoy it. You know what? Joy. Joy. Right. Joy's, Joy. Not, Joy's not playing in this, in but this, again, we're got this game. Yeah, it got banned. It doesn't matter as long as I'm having fun. Okay. No. Okay, as long as You're we're You're the one that matters. I mean, we hope you guys in the audience are having fun as well, right? Uh, we're coming into game number four. Things are getting a lot more interesting in terms of the drafts, right? Picking up a Fanny, its win rate is questionable, right? Up for Kyrie. Yeah, I get that. And that's what worries me. That's exactly the point that I was going to come to. No one from the side of Blacklist can particularly lock this Fanny down, except the Beatrix, but I want to know how this is going to go down. LaFell. We're going into the game. We got to see Kyrie on his fanny. Can he be stopped? And if he, if he can, I'm looking at it as already given. And we're already starting up very, very early on the sand. A lot of fights going on right now, Mariko. Wow, wait, wait. The, the, the Black was actually lose out on this trade 2v3. They're going to go for the wave instantly now. And it should yep. just be uh, a good clear in. Keyboy, though, with a big smack. Honk. Whew. Okay. So they wanted to clear out the mid lane so fast so that they can participate in the top lane perhaps which is weird because it means that they really want to make sure that edward has a good game so he's gonna come down to the bottom lane to have more gold as more as, as well as more experience he's gonna clear out that fast because he's a benedetta and then he's gonna be rotating around i think that the shift now for blacklist is let owl solo fend for himself it's gonna be edward's game once again Looking at this, I kind of feel like their idea is just to make sure that UA moves around faster on the map because the thing about the Kagura is the clear speed isn't the fastest, but the Novaria is there. Novaria helps out a lot. So looking at for both of these, I kind of feel like Blacklist, they might be actually looking at both UA and, and Edward to have a snowball -y lean and then eventually win out the fights around the turtle and then have a better positioning around the map so that they can eventually handle the buff spawning on the Fanny's purple side. We've seen Blacklist deal with a Fanny so many times before. I think in PH it's notorious. Yeah. The buff freeze may yep. happen here. They have good mid control and that is the proper setup for it. Now Kyrie is here up top. Oh My Venus just counting everyone out. For now, Kyrie flicker. forced the flicker off of Oh My Venus and that's the scary thing about a Fanny. Yep. The moment you see her, you, you just gotta be like, nope, I'm out. Either okay. flicker or die. Okay. The focus here is how much can Wise, you know, elevate when it comes to the jungling over Kyrie. And I think what they did was to, to kind of guard their purple buff. Wow, it's quick. Beautiful, beautiful turtle execute there for Blackness International using also Ooh. the final blow, utilizing it, understanding that Fanny has no purple. Yeah, right. Here's what they did. They went first for the orange buff, so why clear that, then the purple buff. So during the reset, when Kyrie wanted to check for that purple buff, not only will he not see any buff from that for the trade of the turtle, but also All My Venus is also there. Even after the flicker, they have accomplished their job. Deny uh, Kyrie's trade of a turtle for a purple. Something that's kind of obvious what we have to talk about is the fact that Wise is on that jungle emblem and Kyrie is on that assassin emblem. So no matter what, Wise will clear the jungle much faster. So faster rotation coming in from Blacklist while Kyrie, he kind of just wants to farm up, maybe even get level six or just one item and then try to get a kill on the side lanes. But so far Blacklist, they kind of been making sure that they see the rotations coming in from Onyx so that all of the side laners, they're kind of well prepared for any potential kind of gank. And Onyx are understanding this. You can already see the adjustment they are making as well. Up top, freezing up the wave just to make Owl sweat for a minion. Now, thing is, I don't think they can keep at it here because Kyrie is a level below already. In these neutral objective takes, if Wise gets this level lead, it's going to be absolutely disastrous for Onyx. Mm. You can see that... It went long, right? And this is not 
beneficial for Onik. They have to push the tempo all the time. Eventually, this Novaria as the roll will... Okay. Oh, that's the cable. Owl forced away. Edward trying to catch him right there. Now with the eye for an eye, escaping. A CW gets chunked. Oh, I was just about to say that they need to push the tempo up because Blacklist in a farming, you know, in a in a farming battle, they will definitely trap Onik. But then again, Carry, he knows what he needs to do. Right now, I kind of want to look at the itemization. UA tried to freeze the goal in there to make sure that Owl doesn't lose a lot. Again, Owl is already there in the lane. Kind of doesn't matter and now. Kyrie not feeling safe in his own jungle. Oh, Petrify as well. Now Boost jumps in. It's going to be Kyrie who doesn't get it actually now. Now Blast charging in the back. Now Flicker as well. It's really stunned up. It's definitely a fast Flicker combo. Kyrie recalling back. Taunt coming in from Boost. That should be another kill. And it's Onik who picks up two. Over wow. Oh, oh. Barely, barely gets out. Almost. Ooh. Oh, Kyrie got it. Kyrie he got, got the it. purple. Gila Kyrie. Gila Kyrie. And not only that, they secure the turtle. This is going to be a big swing when mm -hmm. it comes to the economy for sure. He, has the he still has the, the retribution, but he will not be invading onto Blacklist International. Oh, Calvin Winata. Calvin Winata. Calvin Winata. Calvin Winata. Dude, did we say too much nice things about you? Because oh. I don't know, man. That looked like a major mistake. The major burst mistake. was not there. That is a uh, costly mistake. Not only. Oh, oh, oh. Harry okay. finds Owl. Now with the cables. Just baiting out the shield, you didn't Twice. Stunning Keyboy up. Bulwark still up for grabs now. Can utilize it, but he's waiting for the crossbow tank. And now Blast charged up. That's the crossbow tank. No Bulwark. Right now, looking at the formations of the EXP layer, not wanting to fight against each other. Harry went in, but why still able to secure the goal from the gold crab? The movements coming in from Blacklist. Edward is just trying to move all around the map, making sure that the team is always ready. CW now has the Blade of Despair. Sons gets the ult from the Novaria. Let's look at the itemization yeah. here. Fanny, not. This is weird though. Kairi doesn't have a full item Whoa. yet. <laughs> Wait, Yue. Yue! Just as he gets off the oh, you know, oh, He ulted on where the umbrella was! He predicted it! Edward now with Petrify on the three members. Kairi still going for the buff. It's gonna be blast charged down. Why is gonna be stunned up? Kairi still wins it somehow! Onik are winning in this game. Five to one. Edward! Eye for an eye. Beautiful. T with CW. Oh, if he got that one, I don't know what to say. Guys. My yes, God. yesterday in the interview, Kyrie was just like, I can just dash, but I can't red feed. Oh. That's not the case for today. Owl almost got almost. taken down. I, I gotta say, man, Owl, he has 180 degree vision, man. Yeah, for sure. Calvin without he Nibiru passion onto exactly. the cone, the left side of the right side of the cone what? onto the left side of the cone. Dude. Enough coverage for the dash coming up from Yue. He saw he the future. It. He saw the future. Can't spell Winata without win. Wow, Whoa, that's good. That's really good. Seven out of ten. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Now Kyrie almost losing that one. Wise finds Keyboy. Wise taking a bunch of damage now. CW. Sands, Boots is there. They're starting up the turtle. Blacklist already gonna contest. Wise looks like he wants to drive by, but I don't think he can get it. Not this time. Shield Unity was there now. Oh, they're gonna go for the stun for the lock as well, but it's raised. I'm gonna blast Ooh. connecting all the two members right now. That's gonna be the cables coming down as well. Edward with the eye for an eye, escaping for now with the final blow defensively as well. Blacklist managed to get out. It's still a game they can possibly try to come back. Oh, uh, well. Great job coming out from Keyboy, by the way. Weiss wanted to go for another drive-by. He was successful, and that was yesterday, actually. Yep. But Keyboy blocked the the unity, unity yeah. Yeah. the shield unity. He was able to stop Weiss's tracks and then lands a two-man ultimate. Fortunately for Blacklist, they did not die afterwards. But my oh my, Onik is now on the driver's seat. Right now, I'm asking Wolf, Yue on this Kagura. What is he really looking for for that oh, no, Onik? Are they going to go for it? Wait, Sans just took the uh, yin yang overturn and he By just mistake. it. By oh. mistake. Okay. Yeah, you know, misclick happens and Kyrie. So able to escape. Good cables out. Now, for my question, while not a lot is going on, as I said that, it looks like both teams are looking for a fight. What is the idea behind Kagra here? Uh, you want to burst down the assassins for sure. Surely you can uh, take out the gold laner as well because you can one shot that. But then again, you will, your task now for Yue is to make it so that Kyrie will not be comfortable. 
Well, Kyrie with the cables now jumping all the way in. Nice. Shield Unity locks him down, but Kyrie is bought enough time for CW to pick up the turret in the mid lane. Tier 1 going down. I gotta say, man, Kyrie looking like a landslot there, just dashing around, grabbing everyone's attention, and then letting his own team free hit the turret. Blacklist, I don't know, man, looking at the situation, even I can't get in their heads. I don't know what they're thinking about. Whoa, help me <laughs> out. What do you think they're, they're, they're trying to figure out here? Oh, the, the first time, though, I can say that in the first few minutes of the game, Blacklist will rely on both the Baksha as well as the uh, Benedetta to kind of control the jungle of Onik, but they weren't able to do so. They tried twice, they lost twice, and now you're in a position where what do you do now? Maybe the answer for Blacklist is just to, wa to win the map now. Wait for level 15 on both Weiss as well as Kyrie, and then try to Lord fight afterwards. Well, the Lord is here. Boots starting it up. Wise already showing his face. Oh my Venus is there as well to provide some vision. Edward is moving down. Sands as well as Boots kind of creating a line, making sure that Wise doesn't overstep his welcome. I don't know. Looking at the situation, who's going to start the fight? It looks like Boots moves in, not able to catch anyone. I'm also trying to look, where is Keyboy? Keyboy is trying to find a push that no one will check. And eventually goes in, speaking of where is Kyrie? Wow, a big burst onto you, forcing him back. One member down, but Kyrie is also going to recall now. The two unity onto Keyboy. That's the better rage to disengage. Demon on Blast, free. Why is going to be chained CC? And Owl still able to find the crossbow tank right now. Zach is going to find the back line. Keyboy still able to survive right now. Boots flickering forward. Now with the Praise's Wrath, Venus 1 HP. Crossbow tank ready. Now Pop there with the Goddess Bulwark saves him. Now it's Venus who gets targeted down as Kyrie picks up the cutthroat from downtown. Well played, coming out from Onik. Taking out Weiss, Keyboy landing the stun. Luminum Blast connecting. And Owl was far too late. Does have the damage, but the fact of the matter remains. The Bulwark really defended well against Blacklist International's Owl. Kyrie, this should be a free red tree, but Edward has to say something about it. CW finds it now, eye for an eye. Used by the cut throw. My goodness gracious. Wait. Wow. Edward, do you have a defensive item, man? Because, dude, that damage coming in yeah. from Kyrie, that was way too much. Way too Onyx much. now with almost Ooh. a 5,000 gold lead, and the game is paused. Even they're like, yo, we got to take a breather here. Yeah, oh, for sure. I, I really like the response coming up from Onyx. When Owl was there, finds two people with two stacks. Immediately Onyx, they flickered out of there. Dashed out with the Valentina as well as, uh, I believe it was, it was probably Sans who went out of there. Then when the ultimate was already up, the bulwark was there for him, and Kairi was able to just find Oma Venus into the back lines. Massive outplays that you saw coming out from Monik. Right now, honestly, we see one finger, so it won't be that long. So I'm gonna call for emergency help here. How does this look like, Gideon? Is it really Onik favorite fight? Well, right now, I would say very similar to our tech issue. I think it's a type one. It's very, very minute. Half the time, it's just the timings of the abilities and executions coming out from Blacklist International that are just not connecting. For example, the Astral Spheres that are hitting the Guardian's Bulwark, even though technically, I would make the assumption at the same time that yes, I don't have vision, but I know for a fact that it should be coming out of duration. I like the fact that they're targeting, uh, making sure that Keyboy feels a little uncomfortable, right? Because these Numenon Blasts are the one thing that really turns these fights. Yep. I just got to double confirm, Eterna, just now you're like, yo, Blacklist, you're looking very strong. Is that correct? I just, I just want to double confirm. Oh, guys, look, it seems like there's going to be a deep code for all of well you viewers. Well done. We want to show our appreciation to you. Don't mm. forget to redeem that as soon as possible because like I mentioned, LaFell likes to get his hands on it and he's <sighs> very, very quick. Get it before he does. Thank ten you for that. Out of, 10 out of 10, we're going into the game. Thank you very much to our panelists. Now we're jumping back in. So far, I'm also going to look at the KDA, man. CW and Boots, Sans and Kairi have not died yet. Yeah. This is a problem because we were talking about the fact that the 1-1 might have a good wow. tag this game. Except for the fact that there's the Lolita. But overall, Dude. not dying on Kairi, that's going to be very bad. Wait, where, where's the Dreadnought armor? You're going up against a Fanny as well as a Fredrin. I kind of feel like having that would be kind of cool, yeah, you know? Yeah, only they're dying on Dominant's eyes on Edward. And by the way, Kyrie went in for the Red Retribution, which means that he steals damage. That's why he was able to almost one-shot the Edward, or at least deal, what, 30% damage onto Edward's HP with just one cutthroat. 
Yeah, we're back on the retribution. You're looking at your opponent. He's like, hey, you got a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Can I have some? Oh. Yes. And he got some. He did. He practically stole it. I don't think Edward wants to give it to him. So no consent in that one, Kyrie. But Onik pushing forward now with the enhanced. No, that's the Omo Lord. First Lord of the game. Oh. New vision. Keyboy now with a quicker. Nope. He sold. Oh, Wise gets brought back by the toss. He doesn't up the kill now. His possible tank is ready. Boots should fall here, but the Goddess will work. Saves it for a big guy. In the back. Finds a pit pick. Phoenix will fall, Owl pops him with nature, Kyrie's still able to escape right now, CW in the back is still alive, Edward uses the final blow to clear out the Lord. I thought for a second Onik would have been able to end yeah. again in the 12th minute. I gotta say man, Onik, I don't know what kind of wash they're wearing, but it really feels like Onik thought they want to push it fast. Ooh. Oh, what they did was to utilize... Oh! What? He wow. predicted the dash, my, mo my man, my boy CW, Ooh. what the heck? My daddy! What are you doing, CW? Okay. Yes, oh, calm down, calm down. She. I mean, okay, well, try to break it down. Oh, okay. So there's something smart that Onik did in the previous fight. You gotta see it through the replay. Okay. They utilized Keyboy's ultimate, not for a connection, but more of a peel, or actually to start a fight, just for the slow. And it was, you know, you see Blacklist, they're waiting for the flicker from Keyboy. They wanted to punish afterwards. But the awkward spot was nobody went in. And then Kyrie found the opening. Weiss died already. Almost taking out more. And Keyboy is just so crafty with utilizing the Dominion Blast. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. Uh, I look at his IGN, it was CW. I thought it was DD. So I was like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens. It happens sometimes. You know, Reading is very hard. Uh, you know what? I'm. I'm my, I'm dyslexic, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Are you actually dyslexic? Uh, I'm just colorblind for, uh, for all okay. I know, but either ways, right now, Blacklist, they got another kill, which is oh, pretty uh. good. Oh, oh my okay. Venus stole okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what, Kairi, you steal my damage, I steal your goal. I think that's a fair trade. Yep. Fair trade. No consent, plenty of trades. Nothing in this world is free. Nothing in this world is free. No, the turn the Lord is free. Oh. <laughs> just as you, you say, it. nothing is free, Lord is free. <laughs> Oh. Don't speak. Don't speak. <laughs> yep. This is a different kind of curse, man. Yep. It's the caster curse. CC. Oh, CC. Either way, speaking of CC, CW right now has been hitting those shots. It's kind of difficult for Blacklist because no matter where you go, you're between a hard rock and a harder place Blades. where there's no really good place for you to go because either you're going for Kyrie or CW, like, there's no escape. You're, you know. Ooh, what? Oh, uh, what? Uh, Another on point get shot. Get hit by the bullets or the sword. Yeah. Make your choice. Make your choice. Both are going to be popped onto Wise right now, but the wave management is actually not going to be on point for now for Blacklist. For Onyx, Blacklist International able to micromanage right now. Zunan Blast gets charged in, but it's going to be a good cancel from UM. Hi. Wait, he found Wise. I didn't even see that. What? Petri now being used. Edward, no Petri. Keyboy looking for the stun right now. Owl. Oh, again, oh, CW, CW. Oh. With the nature popped in, but oh. Sans, he takes him down. The one doesn't do anything to the magic damage. Onik, one cannon minion. Edward trying to clear it up. Onik can play with the time. 20 seconds on the board as Kyrie jumps back and forth. Will he recall the question? He will go to the jungle. CW, CG the base down. 15 minutes in. They want to look for the end as the midwave oh. crashes down as well. Edward, no way, CW, what? Now he guns down, what? and a blast in the 